Hey, this is Carl, and today we are going to unbox and assemble this custom X-Force Wolverine. So stay tuned! Hey YouTube! So I decided to split the video into two parts because I think not a lot of people are interested in seeing the unboxing and assembly anyway, and I don't have much statues coming, so to be more active in YouTube, I'll split them up from now on. I'll post the review in a few weeks after I post the unboxing. So this piece came in one box, a very heavy box. Up top, we have a photo of the unmasked portrait. So this came with an art box, and here are more photos of the piece printed on the box. We have the usual black foam and velcro straps. On the first layer, we have the first portrait, and it's the one with the cowl and red eyes. Next, we have the right arm with the open hand. Paint is very impressive, amazing textures and details. By the way, the claw is made out of metal. Next, we have the shoulder pads. Next, we have another right arm, but this time with a closed fist. Next, we have the left arm with a closed fist again. Next, we have the other left arm holding the sword. I like that they made it this way where the grip of the sword is sculpted to the hand, and I don't have to connect the weapon together between the hands. I feel like this approach is more safe. Next we have the sword, and yep, it's made out of metal. Now to the next layer. We have the second portrait. It's a mass portrait with a beard, and the cowl doesn't seem to have textures unlike the first one. We have one of the ninja's head and the second head of the ninja and this guy has been sliced up by Wolverine pretty bad. We have the first ninja that will be part of the base and wow it's pretty heavy. And now we have the second ninja. These pieces are not hollow if you are wondering. We have another portrait and it's the Anmas portrait. We have the last portrait which is still Anmas but with some adamantium showing. So I guess this is the damaged Anmas portrait. Now we have Wolverine's body. I must say this piece has amazing details and textures. To the last layer, we have one of the ninja's right arm. We have one of the ninja's left arm, another left arm, and finally, the last right arm for the ninja. Lastly, we have the base, and as you can see, I have edition number 5 out of the edition size of 118. The base is so heavy. This is the heaviest base I have ever seen. Let's proceed with the assembly. We have 19 pieces right here. Two sets of arm for Wolverine, four portraits, two shoulder pads, the sword, and Wolverine's body. Two sets of arms for the ninjas, two ninja bodies, and the base. So first, we put this ninja into the base. But first, we need to insert his left arm first before we put him in the base. Simply align the key on the base. Next, we put the other ninja on top of the first ninja. Just align the key to the hole, which is on the body of the first ninja. So next, we just insert the arms of the ninjas. Now, we insert the key on Wolverine's knee to the ninja's junk and the peg under Wolverine's left foot goes to the other ninja's chest. So the clean ninja portrait goes to the ninja to Wolverine's right, while the damaged ninja portrait goes to Wolverine's left, and the ninja's portraits are not interchangeable. Now we simply insert the arms into the peg on Wolverine's body,
within the shoulder pads on the pegs on his shoulder. And lastly, the portraits. So to use the sword, we simply insert the sword's key into the grip, which is scalded in the hand of the switch out. And that's it! This is the unboxing and assembly of the X-Force Wolverine Diorama, sculpted by the great Franco Carlissimo, and prototype was painted by Saul Yu. The review for this piece will follow. Thanks for watching and see you again on the next unboxing video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.